Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Today, guys, we are working on this grey Volkswagen Polo. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I want to get a big push on today. Uh, apparently, the wing is supposed to be turning up this afternoon. Um, it was supposed to turn up yesterday, kind of let me down. Uh, this was an eBay thing, eBay purchase. And um, yeah, it didn't turn up yesterday. So, but I booked an MOT for this car. This is due for an MOT this afternoon as well. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the other one back on, the other wing. <clears throat> it's a little bit bent up, but it should be okay just to get it through the MOT. Uh, do all the other bits and pieces around it. And let's see what happens with that, um, yeah, that MOT later on this afternoon. Um, we have still got some bits and pieces to do, the cleaning, um, the check-in, and all the bits and pieces around the car. And apart from the wing, <clears throat> that should be it today, really. Um, it's just going to be, yeah, completely done, apart from the wing. Um, it's just an absolute pain when you're relying on parts. When you do you know what I mean? When you can just go and get the part, it's so much easier. It's just go and get it, bring it back, it's here, put it on, done. But when you're relying on postage and relying on people to sort of send them out and sort of, you know, it's just, uh, yeah, <clears throat> just one of them things I have to deal with. But <laughs> just have to carry on and, uh, yeah, crack on with what we can do with. So let's do this, guys. So, guys, like I was just saying, um, yeah, we've got to get this through, hopefully get it through the MOT today. Um, we've got a lot of bits and pieces to do around the car. Um, get the wind back on, get this old one back on. It's not going to really affect it at, at all, really. It was just, um, I've got another one coming because of, yeah, because of all these dents and scratches here. They just don't look, they don't look too clever. And, you know, I'm never going to be able to straighten that back out to, <laughs> to make it look any decent. So I thought I'll get another one. Um, and then it'd be sort of, but it, it is perfect, the other one, the new one. Uh, well, it's not new one, it's second hand, but it's in colour. So that's coming. It should, be, it should have been here yesterday. But um, yeah, we'll have to put that back on the car <clears throat> just to get it through. But we need to get the headlight back in as well, get that in. Um, and um, yeah, see, what, see, what, see, what, see if she passes or not. Um, I will quickly show you what I've done to the wheels. You can see that the actual inside of the wheels are pretty decent. They're a little bit dusty because of obviously I've, just, I've been trying to polish and do bits and pieces around the car. Um, but the actual rims, the inside, I've painted black and they've come out pretty good. So when I put the trim, the wheel wheel cover back on, it, you know, behind it, you'll, you'll see it's just a nice black, nice wheel. Um, I've done it on all, all of them and they've come out really well. And it was just a, you know, just a black uh, rattle can, uh, black metal paint, um, and it, yeah, it looks pretty damn smart. So we've got some cleaning to still do um, in this car. It's a bit grubby and a bit dirty. Um, you can see in, all in there and stuff. So yeah, I want to crack on today. We did, we didn't do this side of the car. We only done uh, the other side. Which were like lifted the seat up. Do you remember? Lifted the seat up, um, done up all underneath, um, and then we put it all back down. So that's really what I want to do on this today as well. Give it a clean uh, outside as well. We'll give it a clean on the outside just to see if there's anything, anything else going on. But uh, if I can get it all like this and like all clean like this and tidy and decent, and I've, I've done this by the way as well. I showed you on the last video. This popped out. Um, this popped out. So what I did was I pulled it out, uh, connected it back on, pushed it back in place, um, and yeah, sim simple as that. Done. So that's one, another job ticked off the list. So yeah. Right, I'll set you up. Let's go for this corner first. Let's get the light in. Let's get the wing on. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get this sort of part of it done. And then we'll move on to the other bits. And then I think the MOT is at two o'clock. So we've probably got about three or four hours. So let's uh, let's crack on. Let's do as much as we can. And then let's see what it goes through the MOT later like.
Right, guys, it's definitely looking more and more like a car each <laughs> time I do it. But yeah, you can see uh, what I'm talking about, the wing. Uh, it's all been connected, really, but it's just obviously for MOT purposes. Uh, that's going to stay like that. I've uh, done the headlight. I had to do a little bit of adjustment. I was just checking to see what the, the beam was light, and it's pretty good, so that's good. Uh, he, he adjustments. He does the adjustments anyway. If um, if it's uh, if the headlights are quite low or quite high, he just adjusts them for me. The MOT guy. There's no point in putting a part a foul through silly things like that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it just needs a good clean now. Really, we'll take her outside. We'll give it a good clean. I will put the um, the wheel caps back on, but um, they're just a, a bit filthy at the minute, so I, I want to clean them up first. Get all those, you know, clean them up first, and then when I put them back on, they're, they're as clean as uh, than than there. Yeah, so, but let's get a let's get her outside. Let's give it a good clean outside. Bring it back in. We will continue with the inside. Make sure all the, all the levels are there. Make sure all the fluids are there. The wa washer jet, it's got uh, you know water in it. Um, it's all been cleaned up. Window wipers work as they should, because even if that, if this one, don't clear the screen properly, then that's a foul. Same as the front. Just yeah, just little things like that. I'm, I'm just the normal things that I'd normally do trying to put a car for an MOT. This is no exception. This is you know it's, it's just another car, even though. I'm probably losing, uh, not a lot of money, but I'm losing money on this car already. I still got to do what I normally do on each car that I've, that I've done. So, yeah, if that makes sense. But let's, let's, let's just crack on, guys. Let's take it outside. Let's give it a good clean. Bring it back in and start the inside. So, or the other side of the inside. <laughs> Driver side. Yep, let's do it. Right, that is better. Needs to be dried off a little bit, but not kind of worried about that. I just wanted to see what it was like underneath. And to be honest with you, it's pretty decent. It's all right. It's coming out all right. Apart from obviously the wing, which I've got to swap over when the other one turns up. But yeah, it's definitely, definitely sort of looking much, much better. So happy days. Right, let me set you up. Um, let's crack on with the inside. Let's get that cleaned up and that. Just carry on, just carry on. I think we've got another, what's the time now? 12. So we've got another hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes before I've got to leave. Um, so, yeah, let's crack on. Let's just see what I can get done. And, um, yeah, just keep just keep checking just to make sure that everything's sort of, you know what I mean, it's, it's, it's okay for the MOT. Uh, I'll probably even give the tyres a pump up as well just to make sure that they're, 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 the pressure is up a little bit PSI is where it should be on the tyres um, so yeah I'll set you up guys and let's do it
Right, okay guys, there we go. Um, cannot do any more to it. I've done everything I can. Hopefully that's enough to get it through the MOT. Um, it's so much cleaner in here, it's unbelievable. Um, it still needs a, a wipe around the dash, wipe around the glass, both sides. Um, a bit of upholstery and plastics and stuff, but it's looking so much better. It's just so much, like every time I do that with the seats and I lift them up and I, and I clean underneath the, 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 the rails, um, and get all the get all the crud and rubbish from around underneath. It just smells and looks so much better uh, to every car that I do it at. Um, and yeah, I'm going to continue doing it because it's so much good. I've got to put some mats down as well, so I'll put some floor mats down ready for when it gets um, up for sale. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I am with it. I can't do any more. Just got to take it to the MOT centre and just hope and pray that there's nothing that nothing needs to be done. Um, fingers crossed, but we'll see. Um, if it does need doing, obviously I'll, I'll sort it out and do it. Um, but it's just looking so much better. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Even though it's uh, costing me quite a lot of money to do, it's still worth it. It's still, it's still, you know, it's still a nice car. Um, and I'm not going to change the way I do anything um, just because it's, you know, costing me a little bit more money than this, this car. But. Let's hope it goes for an MOT. Um, so let me get over there. And then when I come back, I'll let you know what happens. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed on this one. I'll see you in a bit. Right, guys, I am back from the MOT centre. Um, and yeah, I'll let you know in a sec how they got on. But before I do, um, I just want to quickly say... I really, I really like the drive of this car. <laughs> so, so, unbelievable. I didn't think I was going to like um, the drive of it, but do you know what? It's a nice car. It's a nice car to drive. Um, and yeah, it's smooth. Uh, really nice gear changes. You know, it's only 1.2, but it's still got a little bit of power there. I'm really, really surprised at this car. I've got to be honest. I, w I wasn't thinking that I was, I didn't think I was going to sort of, um, do you think I was going to like it? But now I understand, I understand why so many people like these Volkswagens. <laughs> it's not, I don't think it's just the, the Polo guys. I think it's the Golfs, um, the Sirocco's. All the Volkswagen uh, cars seem to be, it must be, it seemed to be a really, really nice built car, reliable. And they're, they're, I, I, I'm still shocked how, uh, how nice it is to drive these cars, honestly. Um, even, like I said, even with a 1.2 Polo, it just seems a real nice drive. I was really, really surprised. Uh, it was quite nice driving there and driving back, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it's really nice. So... Pleasantly, pleasantly surprised on that front. Um, so there we go. But let's get into the actual MOT, guys. Um, I've got the results of the test. I will show you now um, and let you know what happened. So there we go. Pass. No advisories. Straight through. Um, and quite good mileage, really, um, each year. You can see it's not gone up a lot each year over the you know course of the last three or four years. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy with that because this kind of thing, like with all the effort and everything I'll put into these cars, when I get results like that, um, no advisories on these cars, it, it just, you know, it really does make me feel better. Um, even though I've had a nightmare with this car and yeah, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna lose me money, but yeah, you know, you have you don't get you don't get winners all the time. You have to get a loser every now and then. So um this one's definitely a loser. Um I'm not gonna go into the numbers, guys. I know I'm gonna get messages. Um, you know, what's the numbers? Tell us, tell us what you you know, how much it was, what you cost. I I'm not gonna get into that because what you know, I'm I'm not I don't normally do it. I've done it a couple of times, didn't feel comfortable doing it. And I, the reason why I don't feel comfortable doing it is because I don't want to show this doing salvage, doing the cars. I don't want it to show people that um, it's it's good or it's bad um, because 
there's a lot of people out there that, that don't understand um, salvage, the market, and will just go out, buy something, and will get stung, especially using Copart. I'm sorry, Copart um, are just, yeah, any anybody can throw a car through. I'm not going to sit here, I'm not going to stand here and absolutely rip Copart to pieces because it's got its own reputation. It, it definitely has got its own reputation. I, I don't have to do that, um, <clears throat> but I just do not trust them, and I don't want people going to Copart, buying a car, and, yeah, someone having a car, uh, seizing the engine, throwing it through Copart, and one of my followers, one of my subscribers, buys a car um, based on what I'm saying about what I'm doing. So that is the reason why I don't do the numbers on the car. But I will say, like I said, this is, yeah, this has been a bit of a loser. <laughs> I'll put my hands up and say, yeah, this wasn't a good one, but we knew that. I think we knew that um, going into it. Because obviously I've got a lot of people saying, throw it, throw it back through Copart. Nah, nah, I don't care. I don't care. Um, I'll, I'll take a loss. I'll take a loss. Don't care. Um, I'm not doing that just because my, you know, the way I am, um, morally can't do it. Um, won't be able to sleep if I did it. <laughs> just, I just can't do it. But there we go. Guys, that's enough waffling on this car. Um, apart from the wing, we are completely finished, I think. Uh, a little bit of cleaning. And the, the wing, the wing, uh, changed the wing over on that corner. Um, yeah, we're kind of there. It's, it's, it's past the MOT, which is what I wanted. Um, I wanted it to sort of pass with no advisories, and it has. Um, so, yeah, that's... Uh, I'd say that's job done on this one, mate, uh, to be honest with you. So, that is going to be um, the end of today's video. Um, yeah, you know, if you like the video... Don't forget to, to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, really appreciate the support, guys. Uh, on Friday, we have got the raffle uh, the winner. I will do a random pick uh, on the YouTube channel uh, on, my, on my laptop over there. Um, <clears throat> and we'll do a random pick and pick someone for the mug and key ring um, that I'll send to you as well. So good luck, everyone, with that. But obviously, I'll speak to you on Friday morning about that. But for now... That is going to be the end on this car and this video. So really appreciate the support. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. That helps giving one of those. Not one of those. Please one of those. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you on the next one, guys.